Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I'm going to install OpenWRT on the Ubiquiti X Router X or ERX. So we have different ways to install OpenWRT on this firmware. We can install it via LFH or web installation or we can install it with TFTP using the hardware button or the reset button and we can also install OpenWRT with the TFTP with zero consoles which requires opening the case in this video I'm going to use the edit age or the easiest installation that we can do so first of all let's have a quick check on this documentation from OpenWRT.org and everything has been clearly documented Alright, so right here we have the firmware and right here we have the X point R6, the X router X and the X router X SFP. So for this initial RAM disk, we are going to use it for the TFTP installation. But we are not going to do that because we are using the web based installations or added edge installation. So we just need this OpenWRT upgrade firmware. Let's click on this link to begin in the download. Save it. So right here we have additional guides on backing up the original firmware or checking out the flash layout. But I think we don't need to do it because I'm going to run OpenWRT. So I can just leave it for now. And then Right here, we are going to use this factory firmware installation method, which is the easiest way. So first of all, we will need to download this OpenWRT image for ERX right here. And then we are going to install it with the official XOS on the router. So after that, we will boot into OpenWRT and then we are going to flash the system upgrade image after that. Right, so right now just download this firmware first. Save it. Alright, and let's go back. So currently my X Route X is running firmware V209 Hotfix 2. And currently it is up and running with PPE connection on VLAN 35. And of course, it is connected to UNMS as well. So let's begin with the installation. After we have successfully downloaded the file, we will have two files. Once in the initial run, this we will be uploaded to the stock firmware to boot into OpenWRT. And then this one is a system upgrade image. Now we have two ways to install the OpenWRT initial RAM disk on this X router. We can do the SCP command to transfer the files and begin the installation with this command, or we can flash it with the web UI. And in this video, I will use the web UI because this video is M for beginner. So this is the web UI that we are using and Let's click on this one, go to system. So this is my configuration and I suggest before doing any installation, you should back up the current config file right here and save it. So now we can click on this upgrade system image and select the OpenWRT initial RAM disk. Select the OpenWRT initial RAM disk and hit open and the file is being uploaded to the router. In order to change in order for the change to take effect, you will have to reboot your device. Yes, please do that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Alright, so let's check the router. And we can see that it is been rebooting. So we can see that the power is now on, and then we have the LED status moving from Ethernet 0 to Ethernet 1 and off. 
and it is going to be like that so right here I have PoE out on my port 5 so I'm going to remove this port Port number one right here is connected to the PoE adapter and then it is going to connect to my one interface or my one connection so I will just leave it at the so right now we can see that the LED is up and running on Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 2 and I assume that OpenWRT is currently up and running on this router so I'm going to check this out Right, disconnect this one first and now let's go back to open network and internet setting change adapter options and let's see if we receive an IP address and all right unfortunately we don't receive at the IP address so I'm going to disable and enable it Unfortunately, no IP address is received and something is wrong right here, so let's be patient. So as you can see, we received no IP address from the GSCP server, so let's check out the guide. So it stated, be aware that when setting up the router with Factory X OS, at that age, administration is done on Ethernet 0 with Ubiquity and this is the default username and password. So it's still like we need to do something else. So as you can see, this is my PoE adapter and it is connected to the Ethernet 0. So I'm going to connect my computers, this one, to the LAN port of the PoE adapter, just like this. Please know that this only applies if you're using a PoE adapter and if you're using a DC adapter connected to this one, you don't need to care about this step. But instead, directly connect your PC to Ether 0, like this one. All right. And it looks like that it will not work in fine. So we will need to do something else. Let's properties and change the IPv4 of the PC. So 192.168.1.5 for example. And then let's try to ping the router. And unfortunately we did and unfortunately we didn't receive any response from the server. So let me go ahead and try to stable it at that age connection. And unfortunately, we didn't receive any response. So I'm going to try a different way. So now I will try with the power adapter. So first of all, let me remove this cable from the X router to turn it off and then connect my PC back to maybe port Ethernet 2 and then connect the power adapter to my router to powering it on Alright, so as you can see, after we change the IPv4 to 192.168.1.5, which is in the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet, we are able to ping the router. So ping 192.168.1.1, and yes, we had a response. So let's try to establish the added edge connection to the router. 192.168.1.1 and accept. So right now I'm in OpenWRT, so I will try with the root 
password and perfect. Open the RT is up and running on the edge router. And now we don't have any internet connection. So we will need to transfer the firmware to this TMP directory and run the system upgrade. So let's go to WinSCP and then click on new styles and I'm going to select SCP 192.168.1.1 username root and hit enter and update all right so let's go to the TMP directory and then let's upload the system upgrade image that we have previously All right, so after the firmware had been successfully transferred to the router via the TMP folders or directory, we can go to the command line right here, CD and then TMP. And when we run LS command, we will see our system upgrade.bin file. So now we should run system upgrade. Normally, if you are upgrading from OpenWRT 19 to 21, they will image check file error message. And most likely, you will need to run the fourth command. So it will be dash F and then fill in your OpenWRT system upgrade firmware. So I can just press open and then hit the tab key to automatically fill in and hit enter. And yes, we are going for the upgrade. So let's see what is happening on the router physically. So right now we can see that all the LED is off, only the power is on. And Ethernet Zero is now up and running. So let's see if everything is now up. So let's go back to this one and try to ping 192.168.1.1 and let's see. And perfect. We can see that the router is now up and running with the response time. So we can go to the network configuration and change it to GSCP instead of the static IP address. It's close. And let's see. Perfect. We have a new network. Yes. And let's check it out. So we have the IP address as well. So let's log into the router. 192.168.1.1 advance and accept the risk and continue and yes we're having open the rt up and running on the edge router x so as you can see right here we have everything up and running all right so now i'm going to connect my one port to port ethernet zero and let's try to configure the internet all right so ethernet zeros or poe in and right now this port have no poe all right and first of all let's go to the system and administration to set a root password hit the save and then let's go to system to set a hostname h All right, change the time zone. Save and apply. And then let's go to network interfaces and configure our one and LAN interface. So we can see that one port is now Ethernet zero. Let's check out the device before we proceed with the installation. For this router, we have Ethernet 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
and my one interface is running on the VLAN 35 so I'm going to add a new VLAN for it alright so VLAN A02 the one queue and the base device is Ethernet 0 VLAN ID 35 I'm sorry it should be 35 and we can hit save and then let's go to interface tab and then on this one post let's click the edit button and change the protocol to PPPoE switch protocol on the device selection let's change it to shortware VLAN Ethernet 0 0.35 and fill up the username and password alright so after that let's go to the advanced settings and let's see if we need to change something no that's it and on the firewall settings make sure it is assigned to the one firewall zone and the GSCP server is ignored hit save with the PPVE connection on OpenWRT it will automatically create an IPv6 virtual toner so we can safely delete this one six interface and let's verify so right now we have no internet connection and then ping to 1.1.1 doesn't work so let's hit save and apply and let's wait for the internet connection to be up and running all right let's see so yes we are still waiting for it and perfect we received the ipv4 address and now the internet connection should be up and running let me try to ping and yes it is work perfect so let's go to network and then gscp and dns and config the, the upstream dns server so i'm going to use 1.1.1.1 and then a.a.a.a for my upstream DNS server alright so what is next let's try to establish the LH connection and run some tests alright let me restart the sections accept rules and my password and let's clear this all let's run opkg instant oh I'm sorry opkg update And then OPKG install edge top. So let's check out the device performance with speed test and let's see what kind of speed we can get. So let's run edge top and start the test. Alright, so we are running at 250 MPPS with download. And then for upload, we are having around 200 MPPS with the full call as around 50% uses. Currently, I'm using a 200 MPPS internet plan. So I'm not sure if this one is accurate. So let me do another connection for top. And let us run the test for another time. Let me change to another server. And let's go. Alright, that's it. We are running at around 210 MPPS with the CPU at 25% idle. And we can see that the load is shared between four cores of the router. 
and on the upload we have the CPU at 64 or it is now around 50% idle and this is with the shortware and the hardware offloading disabled people usually say that hardware offloading and shortware offloading doesn't work with PPoE or VLAN but I want to give a try so let us go to network and then firewall and let's try to enable shortware offloading and hardware offloading because this is probably supported for the MT 7621SOC which is the X is currently running alright so let's minimize this one and run the test so we are running 200 MBP at throughput with 84 with 75% idle and the same for upload we have the CPU at 74% idle and we can see that we have some improvement when we turn on the shortware and hardware offloading on this X router X So far, we have successfully installed OpenWRT 21.02 on the X router X. And we have also tested that PPOE with VLAN working with the shortware and hardware offloading enabled. Uh, due to the time limit, I have yet to perform the OpenVPN and Wygod VPN test. So if you need to check out the device performance, you can have a quick check on this video, Microtit 7 v 3 GR3 performance test. And I believe the result should be more or less the same because it is using the same SOC with the X router X. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.